Five years ago, we were at Oculus Connect 6, and the first Quest had been on the market for four months. At that show, our tagline was, the time is now. We were right. We had finally nailed the form factor. The lower friction of the standalone headset drove better engagement and monetization. It was a great time to invest in VR and ride the wave as the Quest ushered VR into the mainstream. Today, we find ourselves at another pivotal time, an inflection point. The biggest takeaway from this MetaConnect is, the time is now, again. I'm Melissa Brown, the head of global developer relations at Meta. I have the pleasure of working with so many of you across the globe to bring your titles to the Meta Horizon store. MetaQuest is poised for growth, and I believe there's never been a better time to invest in mixed reality. So let's spend a moment on terminology. When I say mixed reality, what am I actually talking about? What does that mean for the teams at Meta? Mixed reality covers a spectrum of experiences, blending the virtual and the physical, where you get to redefine what's possible by reinventing the room around your player, add digital objects, invite a character, or transform their physical space. This is what most people think of mixed reality today. Mixed reality also means full immersion, where you transport your audience to a brand new place. Your player can step directly into your world and join up with others, no matter where they are. This is what MetaQuest has been historically known for and what many developers first think of when they consider the platform. And then there's the newest experience for MetaQuest, extending your existing app. Keep your players connected with your apps as they multitask, browse, and watch in mixed reality. Your experience can be a part of their perfect workspace, personal theater, and augmented home. So with definitions out of the way, why do I think mixed reality is ready for this inflection moment? Well, building off what we just covered, you can do so much more in mixed reality today. MetaQuest is truly multi-purpose for all types of apps and experiences. Gaming, fitness, entertainment, productivity, we've expanded what everyone can expect out of their headset. And developers like you will only take it further. You can innovate and create new experiences because the platforms and technology foundations you build on top of are constantly improving and maturing. For over a decade, Meta has been dedicated to pushing VR forward. As an industry, we have a much better understanding today of what makes a good user experience. You get the benefit of a decade of invention, pioneering by early developers, so you don't need to invent everything yourself. You're also getting the benefit of a lot of early platform frictions being removed or significantly mitigated. This is largely from advances in hardware. Our newest device, MetaQuest 3S, offers the right combination of price and value. It's perfect for those new to mixed reality and those who haven't yet made the jump to Quest 3. More people will be able to experience high quality mixed reality and the best version of your apps. MetaQuest is offering a lot more utility at an unreal value to more people. At the same time, it's never been easier to build for developers like you. We're already seeing signals of the flywheel turning faster. I wanna share a few stories that capture this momentum well. First, let's talk about creative tools. Titles like Painting VR and Vermilion are finding product market fit. These apps allow you to paint with a variety of brushes and mediums, making it possible for you to create your own works of art or recreate the masters. These developers are building communities around creation that wouldn't have been possible before MR. They're democratizing access to 3D sculpting, painting, and prototyping tools. And they're financially successful, sustaining their development, continuously improving their apps, and finding new audiences. Another up-and-coming category is sports training. Titles like Clean Sheet Soccer by Incisive, as well as the NHL training app by Sense Arena, and Win Reality's baseball training title. These titles are used by sports leagues and individuals to practice and perfect maneuvers that can then create success in the physical world of sports. Be a better football goalie, 
perfect your slap shot, or spend time in batting practice with these training style apps. Because the Quest headset offers fully embodied play, these developers are building businesses which help athletes succeed in their sports. This is something that's not possible in any other format. And of course, I wouldn't be up here talking if I couldn't talk about games. There have been plenty of success stories this year, and we expect more to come as we move into the holiday season. I Am Cat and War of Wizards showed us how viral marketing can resonate with audiences and help drive Mao as well as revenue. These two, among many others, are high-quality games that played to their strengths when crafting shareable moments. They brought their communities along, giving their players a reason to promote their titles to wider audiences. While it's easy for me to stand here and celebrate these wins for all this momentum, we know there's also been friction. It's tough out there in the broader industry. Layoffs, studio closures, Studios are pivoting to any work they can to survive to 25. That's part of the reason we launched two new funding programs this year in addition to our ongoing funding through Oculus Publishing. Our Lifestyle Accelerator aims to accelerate the early successes in lifestyle apps on MetaQuest. Emerging lifestyle apps include categories like fashion, beauty, home design, shopping, cooking, DIY, arts, crafts, and more. Selected applicants could receive seed stage grant funding to prototype their experiences, as well as product resources and mentoring from Meta and participating VC partners. Applicants should focus on fun, delightful experiences with novel, engaging, and retentive mechanics that leverage the unique capabilities of MetaQuest. You can submit your pitch until October 15th, 2024, so don't delay if this sounds interesting to you. You can find more information and the terms and conditions by following the QR code. On the game side, we launched Project Ignition, our lightweight and rapid prototyping fund supporting newly formed studios. Teams that have been accepted into the program are designing and building their next games with our direct backing and guidance. We've already funded 21 titles across a variety of genres, including physics skating, co-op exploration, and mixed reality strategy. The platform is ready to support more content for a broader audience. So what experiences are rising to the top from Meta's point of view? Which verticals have the greatest opportunity to fill a current content gap in the ecosystem? We've identified four audiences with three verticals each, which will come to life in mixed reality and are great opportunities for developers to explore further. Gamers obviously remain core to our early audience on Quest today and have plenty of more room to grow. They demand quality and spectacle in everything they play. Mixed reality offers differentiated value from traditional gaming platforms with first-person character embodiment, physical, visual, and mechanical realism, and 360-degree exploration. The three standout verticals for this audience are action-adventure RPGs, these give the players the opportunity to live an alternate life filled with choices, adventure, and escape. Core shooters. Players can test their skills through social competition and cooperation. And emerging genres. We don't think we know the best games genres for mixed reality yet. Many of mixed reality's breakout hits have emerged from small, unproven teams experimenting with different types of gameplay and mechanics. We encourage game developers to continue to explore new skill mechanics and push on the boundaries in areas unique to mixed reality. Our next audience, called enthusiasts, have different expectations for mixed reality compared to our skill-based gamers. They're looking for fun and relaxing experiences, often casual and social. They may have less patience and churn out of an app quickly if it gets frustrating. Apps here need to be as accessible as possible to retain these people and keep them coming back. The three verticals for enthusiasts are playful simulation, the imitative representation of another system, real or fantastical. These apps can seem simple, but often have complex simulations running in the background. Relaxing gameplay is paired with light strategic activities and customization. Casual social. People are looking to relate to others within accessible game-oriented social places. 
These apps facilitate social interactions and encourage public relaxation. And sports simulation, the virtual version of people's favorite live sports, like we see in NFL Pro Era 2025. Pretty straightforward. We touched on this third group as a part of our Lifestyle Accelerator. Lifestyle-focused individuals jump into mixed reality because it can integrate into their daily habits and serve the rest of the family. Anyone can connect with others over shared hobbies, they can practice and level up life skills, and get active to achieve a healthier lifestyle. Verticals here focus on fitness and wellness, recreational sports, and interests. Finally, we think there is a large opportunity for developers focused on entertainment. Mixed reality is clearly differentiated from TV or mobile, and experiences can be uniquely elevated in a headset. These apps can offer fans exclusive access to unique vantage points, an unparalleled sense of immersion, and connection to faraway friends, family, and like-minded strangers, all from the comfort of your own home. The verticals for entertainment are better than live. Virtual, social, live music, and sports events that can transport users to breakthrough experiences. Beyond streaming, differentiated consumption experiences with features like co-watching, branded environments, and 3D capabilities. And fandom extensions, social worlds for fans to interact with their favorite performers and IP. They can bond over their shared fandom, express themselves with branded items, and hang out through programmed activities. Now, if I was just starting a project, there'd be a few directions I'd be considering. First of all, social. Time and time again, social experience prove the unique value of mixed reality and offer what no traditional experience on a PC, console, or phone can. Feeling like you're actually with someone when you're apart. Plus, social apps get the benefit of virality and repeated engagement. Cooperative play. Of course, we see a lot of PvP where players compete with each other, but more of the MetaQuest community is clamoring for activities they can do together. Social isn't enough. It's about what you do with your friends and family once you jump into an app. Spending that time in shared adventures, puzzles, and stories can be magical. Co-located is a new genre of apps recently enabled by our platform. We expect more households to have multiple headsets, and they want unique experiences that are only possible by playing together in the same space. I think we'll have several breakout hits here as developers experiment in this new paradigm. And finally, janky physics. It's just fun to go nuts and do the things you can't do in the physical world. Particularly for fully immersive apps, you can suspend disbelief, make it totally normal to send NPCs flying, leap across large chasms, or stack cars on top of toothbrushes. Most importantly, we want teams to build the game they're most passionate about and experienced in. Focus on what this platform's unique offerings can bring to your design, what VR and MR allow you to make that isn't possible anywhere else. So that's what I wanted to share today about the momentum we're seeing. The pieces are in the right place. Many types of developers are already showing traction at this new stage of the ecosystem. There are funding programs to help new teams get started and build the next hit experiences. MetaQuest can be a blue ocean of opportunities for you and your next app. All these things combined make me believe there is no better time to start building for mixed reality. The time is now. Next, it's time to get technical and consider how you actually get started building some of the experiences that are going to capitalize on this momentum. Kirk Barker is going to walk through a lot of considerations and tooling to help you get started with blending the physical and virtual in mixed reality. Thank you and enjoy the rest of MetaConnect.